Hi all and welcome back to more first generation US business immigration insights. Today I'm going to be answering seven key questions about the E2 investor visa. An E2 visa allows individuals from certain treaty countries to invest a substantial amount of money into the US into a real and operating business. Although there is no specific amount required by law, generally around $100,000 is considered sufficient to meet the substantial investment requirements. However, we have seen acceptances for businesses investing below this threshold, and thus it's not a cemented rule. Under E2 visa laws, the investor must typically own at least 50% of the company in order to demonstrate control. There are no limitations on the business type as long as it's a legal operating business producing goods or services for profit. No, real estate or stock purchases alone will not qualify as their passive investments. They must be part of a business investment. There's no limit as long as the business is operational, but you must ensure visa and status renewal before expiry. Yes, spouses and children under 21 can accompany an E2 visa holder. A spouse can also seek employment and children can attend schools. Join the first generation community today for more exclusive insights and a roadmap to success.